Wow, I seem to have swerved my car into the only snow drift in the entire lot. Luckily, I know how to get my car unstuck just in case things like this happen. So while I'm out here enjoying this beautiful minus 40 Winnipeg weather, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to get your car unstuck just in case things like this happen. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, well, you don't really gotta do anything. You just gotta know whether your vehicle is front wheel drive or rear wheel drive. Obviously, this is the, where all the power is gonna come from for your vehicle, so that's where you're gonna to wanna to focus on first. In this case, I'm driving a Focus, it's front wheel drive. So first I gotta focus on these front tires to make sure they're unstuck. So let's go on to the next point. Well, it might seem obvious, you're gonna to wanna to shovel underneath the tire so that you get most traction possible underneath the snow. What might not seem obvious is that you're actually gonna to wanna to carry a shovel to shovel underneath the tire. Something just like this. And if you would've watched my previous video on things to pack in your winter survival kit, this is probably the most important. Also shovel underneath the car so that it won't get held up when you're actually backing up. And one thing people tend to forget is to shovel all the snow away from the exhaust pipe because I can think of nothing less fun than carbon monoxide poisoning when you're waiting for help. So let's shovel underneath here. Get this going. You're gonna wanna go in your car and straighten your wheels. I don't know the science behind it, but when you straighten your wheels, it gives you a lot more traction when you're actually reversing and going forward. Make sure they're straight, as straight as possible. So I dug underneath the vehicle, dug underneath the tires, made sure my exhaust was clear of all snow, so now let's give it a shot. So you don't wanna crush the throttle or else you're just gonna dig yourself a bigger hole. You just wanna be gentle and easy. And if it's gonna go out, it's gonna go out. If not, then you gotta keep going. So let's give it a try. Nope. Alrighty. Move on to some new things. Now this is a pretty big bag of salt. I just grabbed it from inside. But salt is great to melt the snow and the ice around your tire if it's slipping on ice or really, really packed down snow. Really good alternatives for salt, sand, and kitty litter. Yeah, that's right, kitty litter. I just bought a thing of kitty litter for $2 at Dollarama, and it's just really easy to store. So let's put some down and see if that'll help. Now one thing that you could probably use as a last resort, your floor mats, right under your feet actually. Just flip them over, you got the grippy side here, stick them under your tire, and it'll give you just a little bit extra traction, just in case you just need a little bit more. But these aren't my floor mats, and I really don't want to ruin them, so I'm just gonna go ask someone if they want to help, so. All right, so Jeff's gonna give me a hand here. So it's minus 40 outside, he's doing this out of the kindness out of his heart. Now he's a buddy of mine, and buddies will show up a lot faster than tow trucks, so the last thing you can possibly do when your car is stuck, is call a buddy to help you push him out. You ready to do this? Yep. All righty. Well, I was talking about getting the car stuck. I wasn't lying about getting the car stuck. 